Hey, what's up, guys? It's Slipper here. Welcome back to the channel, man. Thank you guys for joining me once again. And quick disclaimer for this video, I'm not trying to promote any one of my viewers or anyone watching this video, if you're subscribed or not, to smoke and or drink, especially all together at once. The reason for this video is to educate others, tell my experience, and to just look back and talk about a life lesson that I had years ago. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys drop a like. And if you guys are new here, I upload every day from gaming, reactions, and story times like this. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. But let's get right on to the video. So to get you guys caught up, I don't smoke anymore. I don't do weed anymore. I don't do nicotine anymore. And like, I barely drink, right? And when I do drink, it's mostly at home. But this is around junior year. And throughout middle school, I'd say seventh grade, all the way to this point in junior year, I was introduced to nicotine, weed, and one sip of alcohol at a New Year's party with my family at our house. And the one time I had alcohol between seventh to junior year, the only sip I took, I was knocked out for the rest of the party. And then for nicotine and weed, I had barely done it at all zero to none especially weed and nicotine so i wasn't really familiar with it up until junior year and in junior year i was like let me test out i feel like an adult i want to be an adult which was a big regret but junior year comes around any opportunity i get to smoke nicotine and or weed from a dab pen i would hit it just hit it hit it hit it and i did not get to the point where i owned my own stuff but yeah i'm smoking at school smoking at parties and i would never do like weed during school at all i would only do nicotine and then and if i was hanging out with a friend i would smoke at their house but the entire junior year i was like that on and off you know one weekend i'm just doing it and then for like two months i'm not and then for another weekend i'm doing it and i just stopped so it wasn't just like a consistent everyday thing but like every time there was an opportunity to hit it i would hit it which is honestly looking back on it it's not as bad as other people's but still i'm still doing it right but i'm doing this throughout the entirety of junior year and there's a prom coming up and i'm like you know what let's go to prom let's see what happens and at this point in my life i'm not that very much of like a social butterfly looking associate myself with people i don't like you know some people i don't like and all that stuff and you know i don't want to just force a conversation if one person doesn't like me or i don't like that other person right so i decided to go to junior prom and junior prom was fun. I was hanging out with my best friend. I was eating with a random group of people. Some of them liked me, some of them didn't, right? I was being awkward here and there. Back then, I didn't know how to talk. I didn't know how to make conversations, how to make new friends with people that, you know, I used to overthink a lot, right? So at this point, prom happens. It's like three or four hours. I get picked up. I get dropped off home. And I realize and find out through a friend that there's a party on my street. It's a couple houses away. And I know the host. She's a girl. You know, the last time we talked, we were pretty cool. So I'm like, you know what? I could probably go. I plan to pull up, right? And I'm going to reveal why I probably shouldn't at the end of the video. So keep watching to find that out. I'm debating whether to go or not. I'm like, you know what? I could do it. Nothing bad's going to happen. I'm just going to ask my dad to drop me off. And I probably do the third or fourth worst thing I could have done for that night. And that was deciding to bring my own drinks. Usually at a party, an adult, someone that has a fake ID or something like that, buys all the alcohol. They know someone or they just, you know, bring their own that nobody's using from their family. But, but I decided to bring my own drinks this time. And I text my senior best friend, who's still my best friend till this day. We're going to call him Steve, okay? Steve was a senior. He knew that the party was happening. And he wanted to come, right? And I was his way in and also shotgun and smoke with me and just have a good time because, and we're doing this all because it's his senior year and he's going to college out of state. So I won't see him for a couple months because the relationship we have and still have, it's, it's a brothership, man. So at this point, we're like brothers and we still are today, but he convinces me to drink and smoke with him, right? Probably let's say the third worst thing I could have done that night. So I get to the party and I text her the address and it takes him about 30 minutes to get there. And within those 30 minutes, I'm down two truly. So I'm at four truly's right now, right? And since I don't drink at all and I only had one sip of alcohol in my entire life prior to then, dude, I was gone. Like I was drunk. I, I, I legit did not know what was going on. And, you know, I could still see straight and all that stuff. I just did not feel good in my body right? My stomach was just, oh, I, I wanted to puke, didn't puke. My head was not even spinning, but like it was like throbbing, right? And I think I drink them too quickly or I drink too much. And I honestly think it was both. I'm drunk and Steve finally pulls up and he and I are talking to some girls, talking to some guys. We're just in this one corner in the Porsche. 
And me and Steve were talking in that corner for about 15, 20 minutes. And I'm like, yo, let's get our drink on. And he's like, yeah, let me pull out the dab pen. And so what we do, oh my God, this is honestly the worst thing possible we could have done, dude. Because I was already drunk. I think he pre-gamed at someone else's house. But before I delve into what happened, which we honestly probably know, I got dropped off by my dad. Right? I said I needed to get dropped off by somebody, even though the house is close. They don't want me, you know, walking home by myself. And my dad knows what's going to happen. He grew up the same way. He would drink and smoke at parties and all that stuff. And he basically warns me of three things. Don't smoke, don't drink. And if the cops show up, don't run. So I'm like, okay. And it's usually me calling him to come pick me up. So we already have that settled. But now on to the juicy part. We take about two blinkers of the dab pen. And... Then we shotgun two beers right afterwards. So no break in between either one. And if you don't know what a blinker is, you basically inhale the dab pen until it starts blinking. I did it twice. He did it twice, right? Then we shotgunned. And as soon as I finished shotgunning, the weed had already consumed my body. The weed was on full effect. And now that I've hit the dab pen doing blinkers and I've shotgunned two beers and I'm down a total of four. I'm feeling high, I'm feeling drunk, and I'm basically crossed. So I'm high and drunk at the same time, and how I felt and what I did afterwards is just, I, I don't even remember it all. How I felt, honestly, like, I, I just felt like a slob. Like, I felt like I had just woken up from, like, what was supposed to be, like, a 30-minute to one-hour nap to, like, an eight-hour nap on a school day, and I'm just sweaty, and I'm just, just all over the place, right? And what I did after this was, every time I blinked, I would be on a new location at the party. So, for example, after I got off the porch, I literally blinked and I was at the garden. I would blink again. I was at the beer pong table taking us a few shots, right? I would blink again. I'm next to the garage. I think this went on for about 10, 15 minutes at most where I was just blinking in most random places ever, talking to most random people. I don't even remember who I talked to, but I was so intoxicated and high that I made something in my notes app to actually to, to make a backup plan just in case I got lost or some crazy shit happened, man, because I, I don't know what I'm going to do, right? I've never been like this. I said within my notes app, stay with friends, make sure everyone's all right. Don't run away and call my dad, right? Because I'm getting fucking paranoid that the cops are going to show up. And as soon as I get done doing that and just like, you know, checking my notes and as soon as I'm done doing that, all I see is lights flickering and someone screaming, police is here police is here and so i'm going crazy right now i'm you know flipping out and i somehow teleport to the back of the yard where the party is being taken at at the exit fence with a bunch of other people and i'm asking them like yo what's going on what's going on and i'm freaking out and i see the cops approaching us asking questions already like oh what are you guys doing here what did you guys do you guys are too loud and with the exit fence opening up and kids are running out. I say, fuck it, I'm running too. The thing that my dad told me not to do, I did. So I'm running while drunk and hot, going through thorns, bushes, pointy shit. And I got cuts on my leg, my ankles, my knee. So I'm running and then I realize like, yo, this is fucking stupid. So like I'm two houses down already, right? I was running that fast, I think. I remember what I wrote down, what my dad told me to do. So I decided to run back. I call my dad and he's like, oh, what's going on? And I'm like, Dad, I messed up. The cops are here and I ran away. <laughs> and he, oh my God, I will never forget what he said. He said, you, Ethan, are such a dumb fucking piece of shit. I told you this would fucking happen. You're going to ruin everything. And everything I will reveal at the end of the video, man, because it's, it, it's such a stupid thing. It sh this should have never have happened. I run two houses down. I'm going through the bushes and suddenly... As soon as I get close to the yard, a light gets flashed onto me, and all I hear is, Who is that? Are you okay? And I proceed to do this in front of the cop. Yeah, I'm okay. But yeah, I literally put my hands up. I say, I'm, you know, I'm not a threat. Don't hurt me. And he says, Yo, just come out. You're all good, man. And by the time I come out and I'm actually able to see the background of what's going on, because the lights are flashing and all that stuff. I see my dad there. And what I did not tell you guys is that my dad had to drop off my suit to my uncle's so he could return it to the store. And my dad's already there. Since my dad's a firefighter for 22 years at this point, and we've lived in the same neighborhood and area for basically our entire lives, the cop that stopped me ended up being the police chief, the sheriff of our own town. And he knows my dad and he's asking me questions in front of my dad. 
He's like, oh, like, you know, are you okay? What did you take? I'm like, oh, I only drank a little bit my first time. And, he, and the cop's like, yeah, that will get you. And my dad pops up, starts talking to the cop. The cop asks, oh, is this your son? And, and my dad's like, yeah, bro, my stupid ass son. And so for like about 10 to 15 minutes, I'd say, my dad and the police chief, the sheriff of my town are fucking roasting me for being stupid about running away and doing this with no parents around and, and not being organized at all. And this one fucking kid saw my dad and I talking to the police chief and I'm pacing. Like I'm literally pacing going back and forth. Like, oh my God, I fucked up. Oh my God, I fucked up. So I'm having like a paranoia attack basically. And this fucking kid, I don't know what I did to him. Every single time I've talked to him in the past three years that I've known him, we were always chill, right? Maybe he didn't like me, but this fucking kid decides to make a rumor about me saying that I told my dad about the party and wanted my dad and had my dad call the police. I don't know how he came up with that, but the entire party, you know, being shut down was blamed on me. So I was basically exiled from parties from here on out. And that's why I didn't go to senior prom or any of that shit afterwards, right? After my dad had talked to the police chief for 15 minutes, we decided to go home. He's yelling at me in the car. And as we're pulling into our house, my dad's like, you know, it's not over yet. And I see the light that pops up in our house when someone drives through our driveway. And it's my entire family sitting outside worried for me. It's my oldest sister and her husband and my grandma too. And my brothers, my sisters, my mom, right? The entire family's out there and they're all like, and they weren't even mad at me. They weren't even yelling at me. They were just straight up disappointed that this even happened because it shouldn't have. And the big reason why the thing I've been kind of nagging you guys on about not telling you guys why this was an entirely bad idea from the start. It was all because my family and I had a flight four hours away before this party had started. And we had already confirmed that we're going to Florida for our cousin's wedding. So let's say something does happen. You know, I get stopped by the cops. They question me for hours. They arrest me, which probably would have never happened. I, I live in a safe area. But imagine if that did happen. I would have missed the flight and I've gone to prison. And after everyone kind of was disappointed to me, I, I just cried in the bathroom for an hour. And I, I woke up at like 3, 4 a.m., went to the airport, and I was still drunk and high, bro. So I was hungover. I did not feel good at all. My sister's boyfriend, who did not sleep over at my house, asked me about it. And dude, the flight to Florida was just so silent, dude, for my entire family. But yeah, that's my story, guys, about me getting crossed for the first time. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like. If you guys are new, subscribe. And let me know in the comments below if you guys want more stories like this. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.